What's up, Reefers? Welcome to more of Alex Porokoros. I'm Alex Wilson, and this is the good, the bad, and the ugly, and manure reefing. That's where I'm adding manure, chicken manure dehydrated chicken manure to my reef systems, and, uh, and new acropora, so you can sit here and see if they watch them die, or, or maybe some of them might live. So here we go. Alright, so here's my shot of my coral scrubber today, and it's full of brown algae, and all kinds of dinoflagellates to get a top-down view of it, and I got the gonioporus in here, and see how they're going to do the ones up top, um, I think they got a little bit too much light and I put them in the shade up there, see how they're going to do it. But I have these, I just left them down here for now. have something down in here as long as I have uh, the fuzzy mushrooms. So I'm just going to try to get some more and more stuff established in here. Probably should have had the light on even long before I had corals in, you know, I just... Even if I didn't have anything in here, I probably should have just put it on. Just went through the ugly stages without anything in here while I had the chance. Anyway, here's one of the gold maximums, the smallest one. I moved him down here because he was getting overly uh, bothered by the copepods up there. So it was pretty crazy. I just cleaned all the copepods off of him the next day. Did the same thing. And the same thing with the other clamps, but this one was the worst of them. So I put them down here because there's not that many copepods, at least not yet. And the other option I'm considering would be to put him on some kind of frag rack up on top away from so many copepods. So we're going to see how that goes. And so let's see, up here on the main display, see the difference between the gravel here and the gravel on the bottom is just that gravel on the bottom has been exposed to light just for about a couple like a week maybe two weeks tops right where the tops up here established same aquarium everything dinoflagellates are down there crawling around everywhere and yet I even stir it up down there of course and it must come in the water comes up here but then does not get stuck on the gravel here of course it used to look like that too alright so moving along talking about clams here right, here we go here they are clams so definitely bothering them all of these darn copepods so I brushed them off almost have to brush them off every almost daily it would seem it's crazy got all these yellow tanks getting in the picture again we're over here talking yellow tanks and copal yellow tanks we're over here talking copal pods and the clamps are getting all mad. Oh no, the yellow tank, he's got to get the picture too. So let's get a top down view of the clams that we're talking about. Here we go. There's the blue maxima right there. Gold maxima. And squamosa. Those are the guys too. They're getting all a bunch of copal pods. Starting to really irritate their mantles, right? They're kind of like just pinching them, pinching them and not quite allowing. The smaller one down there wasn't opening up hardly at all. The gold one there, you can see areas there, a couple of the sections there where they were pinching them and pinching them, not opening up. Squamosa is not bothered quite as much, but it still has a couple areas which is pinching in, and there's a couple ornery copal pods. So, one of the good things is that I have the mandarins in here now, except the little baby, two little baby mandarins right from Biota, so we're going to see... They should bring down the copepod population at least uh, over time as they get bigger. However, they are um, plenty to eat in here, and they're pretty, pretty um, cryptic little guys. And here's it. Acanthophilia top down view. So what do we got over here? Oh yeah. Here's the Helio Fungio on the show. Everybody, top down view of the Helio Fungia. See his mouth right there, tentacles everywhere. It's looking pretty green from this view. And so let's see what we can. What else we got? Top down view of the. Yeah, it's too much current right there for the bubbles. Let's see those guys too well. 
But let's check out all of the other corals over here. Got my Recordia, Blastomusa. Looking okay. Goniastrias. And Duncan. Check out the Elegance. Eh. Top down view. And let's see what else we got over here. We got check out. But she got the mushrooms top down view of, and the hammer and the frog spawn. Yep. There they are. No yellow tiny. Alright. Oh, the yellow tiny, he's got his feelings hurt. He's like not even. He's way over on the other side of the aquarium or something. Yeah, poor guy. Look, he got his feelings hurt. See? Poor guy. I should have been nicer to the yellow tang. Now he's, now he's all sad. Hurt his feelings. Oh, okay. You can. Okay, you want to be here? Come on. Come on. Get the camera. Okay. Nori time. He says, "Yeah, it's already nori time here." All right. So let's check out the quarantine system and. Everything's still alive so far, fingers crossed here. I got this Ganyopora right there. That's a kind of a, a frag piece that I got. It's already like half, halfway um, like uh, eroded around the edges a little bit. So it looks like it's definitely like an older type of frag that someone got me that died. It's like died back a certain part on it. Just... So it's kind of a messed up frag. Anyway. Um, everything else. Fingers crossed here. Acropora are still alive. Swell. Pop attention is okay. As well as this Grosea. He's just waiting for the Copepods to get all over him too. So might have to put him up on a frag racket as well. There's the peppermint shrimp in the back. You can barely see him. He's just, he's like nocturnal. At night, he's way out up even against the front glass up here. Just about coming out of the aquarium. Up on top towards the surface of the, of the water. Up where the silicone's at. So it's pretty crazy. I dropped him a couple pieces of uh, flink food. So he's good. For, the, for a couple of days, I would assume. Alright, what else do we... Oh, yeah. Check out the Acropora. I got the home wrecker. It wrecks homes, man. There it is. It's crazy. It's still alive. It's got some pop extension. Colors look okay. Got my fingers crossed. Got the Walt Disney Acro. Yeah, that's probably a, a, a copyright violation of their um, of their name, but I don't. They're probably not suing everybody for using the name yet, but it's come doing okay. Check out the Christmas Marvelous right there, and it's got less mm, less polyp extension. Keep an eye on it. There's the Princess Peach. And then the Rainbow Millipora. Green Millipora is still alive. And Paul Position on these guys are looking pretty decent. And got the Rainbow Loom right there. Right there's the Rainbow. And the Organ Tort. And let's see, so we got the red canthus table, and then there's the pink, pink lemonade right there. Okay, and then half that one is the daredevil table. I moved it down a little bit there. Daredevil table is a huge frag, Jason Fox, and true corals. And then in contrast to the other one right there, and that one's the Red Devil. Right there in the middle. It's kind of 
blending into the the, the Coraline Altry Rock, but there it is. Then the Green Rogers table, I put them up there. Look like it's freshly set in the plug with some fresh plug and everything, so it should be okay. And and the blueberry style of four, got a polyp extension. And there's the red, small red planet there. So, so far so good. Got my fingers crossed on these echo poor guys. See, I got some more coming. And got got another surprise coming tomorrow. Another, another coral. So, let's check them out from this side. There's the... The full, there we go. That's the blue Bali Slimer. Blue Bali Slimer. See how he does. And I assume it's different than the purple Slimer, but you never know. Supposedly they're calling it the blue Bali Slimer. Bluish purple. It's got a little bit of green on him though. Bonsai's there. And. Orange Chitosa fell down into the Time Warp Samo Coral, so I had to rescue it. Rescue him this morning, and hopefully it's not, not too, they didn't sting each other too bad. Yep, alright, that's, that's adventure for today, guys. I gotta do my testing here, and I will let you know what's going on with the testing tomorrow, as well as, uh, as well as the new arrival that should be coming, so happy reefing. Bye.